Let's take a look at another tool that I like to use a lot, uh, the marquee tool, the marquee tools. So let me zoom in on these olives down. Now these olives happen to be an elliptical shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my elliptical marquee. So I'm going to hold down my mouse on the rectangle marquee and choose the elliptical marquee. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top right hand corner or top left hand corner and I'm going to drag down. Once I get this somewhat selected, you can see that is not perfectly. And this is, happens to be because the elliptical marquee, um, since you're creating an elliptical shape, when you're dragging downward, it's not going to get it perfectly. Don't worry about that. There's always additional steps you can do afterwards. So what you want to do is you want to get as close as possible. And then what I want to do is I want to go up to the select menu. I want to choose transform selection. And what this does, it puts a bounding box around the selected area and you can resize the selection automatically. So I'm just going to take this bottom resizing here. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to take the top one and drag it down as well. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to get a perfect selection by resizing the selection. And all it is is resizing the marching ants. It's not resizing the actual image. It's just resizing those marching ants around there. And once you're happy with what you got, then you press your Enter key. You have to remember to press the Enter key. Now remember, you start with the marquee, you get as close as possible, then you just go up to Select, Transform Selection to modify it. Now I'm going to zoom back out. Now I'm going to zoom back out on a quick, I'm going to show you a shortcut. Instead of clicking on the Zoom tool, I'm going to double click on the Zoom tool. And you'll notice that I zoom in to 100%. Right above there, there's the Hand tool double click on it and that puts you to fit the whole screen um, so that way you don't have to click on the zoom tool and then click on fit screen. Double clicking on the hand tool will zoom out. If you double click on the zoom tool it will take you to 100% zoom so it will help you zoom in if you need to. Now I'm going to use the move tool. I'm going to move it up here. The olives. I'm going to bring my mouse in the middle and we're going to move it up. Now what's nice about this, with the marching ants still have around the olives, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move this up and down a pixel at a time. As you can see it's moving up and moving down. It's a great way to nudge that area to position it where you want to. Um, and again, uh, we're just positioning it, we, we select an area, moving it over, and so we just took our elliptical marquee and then we'll just bring it over. Now I'm going to deselect. This time I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to press the letter D as in David. That deselects and now becomes part of the background. I'm going to take my zoom tool and let's select something else that's more elliptical as well. I'm going to select the salads here. And so I'm going to come back up and use the elliptical marquee. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right in the middle of the uh, circle and it is a perfect circle and I'm going to hold down two keys. I'm going to hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle selection. I'm also going to hold down the alt key. It, the alt key which is really a nice feature allows you to select from the center point out and you'll see this when I do this here. So I have the shift key and alt key. See how when I hold down the alt key it's going from the center point out If I don't hold down the Alt key, it, you have to drag downward to the, uh, to the right. And again, that starts at the top right, or top left, and comes down where the Alt key goes from the center point out. Now what's really nice with this, if you don't get everything selected the way you want, just again, remember, go up to Select. Transform Selection and resize it to fit what you need. Don't forget to press your Enter key if you use the Transform Selection. I'm going to zoom back out. 
I'm going to move this up here in the top left hand corner or top right hand corner of the the and uh, I'm going to do some other adjustments to it. I don't like the pink because I have a lot of greens in here. So I'm going to go, actually go in and I'm going to invert the colors. And when I invert it, it should go to green. So I'm going to go up to Image, Adjustments. I'm going to click on Invert. And it will only affect the selected area. See, it went to green. It inverts the color. So if you have a color wheel, it just takes whatever color that it is now and puts it on the opposite end of the color wheel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So I'm going to go up and create, uh, I want to make this little logo, this little image a little bit larger instead of what it is right now. And you have to have, I have it selected. I'm going to go up to Edit, Free Transform. And I'm going to come to one of the resizing handles that you've seen before under Select, Transform Selection. Now, when you do Select Transform Selection, here, when you do Edit Free Transform, you're actually resizing the actual image. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key because I want to keep it proportional. If you don't hold down the Shift key, you can make something skinny, fatter, you know, wider <laughs> than it's supposed to be. So I made it a little bit larger. I'm going to press to Accept. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that selected area. To duplicate with, you, with your Move Tool selected, I hold down the Alt key, your mouse down, and I drag down to the right, or whatever position you want. You create a duplicate. Now I'm going to go up to Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than it is. Press my Enter key. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to go, I held down the Alt key, I dragged it down to create another duplicate. I'm going to go up to Edit, Free Transform again. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Press my Enter key to accept it. And I got three of those shapes with different sizes. I'm going to deselect. So once you're done with the object, always deselect. I'm going to do a Control D. And there it is. Your marquee tools, you do have your rectangle marquee to select things based on rectangular shapes. When you do that, just remember that you are creating a rectangular shape. If you want a perfect square, hold down your shift key. So the same shortcut key that you use for elliptical marquee will work here. Also, if you hold down the shift and alt like we learned before, it will do from the center point out and keep it a perfect square. And could you use the select transform selection on this? Yes. Could you use edit free transform? Yes. So pretty much once you learn one command, it's going to work for the other, the other tools as well. So the rectangle marquee is to select something based on a rectangular shape. So in this part of the video, we concentrate on the marquees, the marquee tools, and we also use the the tool down here for the quick selection for the tomato. In the other videos, we'll take a look at the lasso tools, and we'll also look at the uh, magic wand as well.